Good evening. My name is Dr. Pamela Frank. I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm here today to talk about gut health and how it impacts your overall health. Your gut or gastrointestinal system is an incredible gateway to optimal health. The gut microbiome is next an ecosystem of organisms including bacteria, yeast, fungi, viruses, and protozoa throughout your digestive tract. Far beyond just your digestive health, the following organ systems are, are closely related to your gut health. Your immune health, endocrine system, nervous system, circulatory system, skin, respiratory system, and reproductive system. Some of the major functions of your gut include digestion, immune response, nutrient absorption, hormone regulation, vitamin production, detoxification, mood management, and many more. Do you suffer from digestive distress, respiratory issues, heartburn, rashes, water retention, constipation, acne, migraines, congestion, fatigue, irritability, depression, or brain fog? All of these things and more can be traced back to your gut health. Stay tuned to learn how you can fix your gut to save your health and maybe even save your life. Functional medicine serves as a combination of both conventional medicine and complementary health care. It uses a model of personalized care, treatment of the root cause of each issue, and sustainable health promotion. Functional medicine is revolutionizing the medical field by empowering patients to better understand imbalances in their bodies, how these imbalances affect their health, and the solutions available to support the normal healing mechanisms within their body. Up next, we'll be discussing what is sabotaging your gut health and strategies to regain control of your health and your life with important functional medicine practices. Your gut is powerful yet delicate at the same time. There are many different factors that inhibit your gut's ability to maintain its bacterial balance, structural integrity, and absorptive qualities. A few of the most important enemies to gut health include the standard American diet, which is abbreviated as SAD, a diet which is rich in sugar and chemicals and lacking in nutrients and fiber contributes to an unhealthy ecosystem within your gut excessive medications, the overuse of antibiotics, steroids, anti-inflammatories, and acid-blocking drugs significantly disturb your gut's microbial balance, and inadequate digestive enzyme activity. Sufficient digestive enzymes are needed for the breaking down absorption and use of nutrients in our bodies. The absence of them can lead to a host of digestive problems. Toxin exposure. Toxins found in our air, water, foods, and personal care products all damage our gut's ability to function properly. Infections. Infections are invasions of your body by pathogens such as bacteria, yeast, viruses, fungi, or parasites. And chronic stress. Your gut is vulnerable to stress-induced changes in many of its crucial functions such as absorption, digestion, and bacterial normalcy. The SAD diet. A study from the United States Department of Agriculture conducted in 2009 reported that 63% of the calories that Americans are consuming come from processed foods containing preservatives, refined grains, and added sugars and oils. In 2010, the USDA revealed that approximately 1,000 calories out of the standard 2,775 daily calorie diet were from added sweeteners and unhealthy fats. In contrast, dairy, fruits, and vegetables only contributed to 424 calories. Another 2010 study conducted by the National Cancer, In Cancer Institute showed three out of four Americans do not eat a single fruit in a day. 9 out of 10 Americans do not meet the minimum re recommended daily intake of vegetables, and 99% do not fulfill the recommended weekly intake of whole grains. The researchers ultimately concluded nearly the entire US, U.S. population consumes a diet that is not on par with recommendations. 
these findings add another piece to the rather disturbing picture that is emerging of a nation's diet in crisis. While everyone's dietary needs are extremely different, there are general guidelines that everyone can benefit from adhering to. The ideal diet for someone looking to prevent gut imbalances, heal from gut dysfunction, and reverse gut damage includes eating whole unprocessed foods, plant-based fiber, plenty of fruits and vegetables, beans and legumes, nuts and seeds, and non-dairy fermented foods. To determine your specific dietary needs, it is recommended to follow through with an elimination diet. Elimination diets are incredible diagnostic tools to determine food irritants, sensitivities, and allergies that are contributing to a compromised gut. Up next, we'll be discussing more about elimination diets and how to try it for yourself. An elimination diet is administered in a way that removes common food irritants that could be sabotaging your health. The foods to eliminate from your diet include dairy, gluten, eggs, beans, chickpeas and lentils are okay, refined sugar, peanuts and almonds, red meat, alcohol, caffeine, hydrogenated oils, and packaged and processed foods. This exclusion lasts at least 21 days to allow time for the negative food-related immune reactions to disappear. Once you have waited the proper amount of time, you will begin to reintroduce each food group individually one at a time while paying close attention to how each food makes you feel. If any food begins to bother you, remove it again and continue reintroducing the remaining food groups. Don't worry though, there are plenty of foods you can have during an elimination diet. Unless you're aware of any specific dietary needs or your doctor has advised otherwise, foods that are diet friendly during the elimination phase include vegetables except for beans, whole fruits, fresh frozen or water packed, dairy substitutes, soy milk, oat milk or coconut milk, lean and clean animal protein, so wild game, lamb, organic chicken, fresh fish and lean beef, nuts and seeds other than almonds, beans and most legumes except for soybeans and peanuts, gluten-free grains in moderation, rice, quinoa, amaranth, tapioca, buckwheat, and teff, high-quality oils such as coconut oil, avocado, and cold-pressed olive oil, herbal teas, sweetener alternatives in moderation such as honey, xylitol, and stevia, and spices. Do you have any experience with elimination diets? I would love to hear about it in the comments. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, the average American consumes over 150 pounds of refined sugars per year. Sugar is hiding in most of our food supply after all. Adding sugars comes in many forms, so look for labels that include high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, corn sweetener, cane juice, dextrose, fructose, glucose, maltose, lactose, sucrose, and malt syrup, and many, many more. Unfortunately, sugar is one of the most detrimental anti-nutrients for the health of your gut. It pr promotes the growth of bad bacteria, hinders the growth of good bacteria, contributes to the deterioration of the digestive system's mucus lining, feeds gut attacking fungus or yeast, and promotes intestinal permeability. The main takeaway here is cut the sugar for your health. The prevalence of gluten allergens and sensitivities has been on a steady and steep rise. However, research has been suggesting that even those without diagnosed intolerances may still experience digestive distress from the consumption of gluten. Gluten directly affects the integrity of the intestinal lining due to its influence on a protein called zonulin. Zonulin can close or open up the spaces between the cells of your intestinal lining. Gluten activates zonulin and in turn increases the permeability of your intestines. This leads to leaky gut and the ability for toxins, microbes, antibodies, and undigested food particles to be absorbed through the wall of the intestines into the bloodstream. 
These are viewed by your immune system as foreign invaders. In response to this threat, your immune system will produce immune system weapons known as antibodies. The antibodies released attack one of gluten's most prominent building blocks called gliadin. These antibodies contribute to the secretion of inflammatory chemicals or cytokines, which lead to damage of otherwise healthy tissues and inflammation. In other words, your body reacts simply to the consumption of gluten by creating a defense mechanism to fight it. Once this inflammatory response has occurred within your digestive tract, it can be distributed throughout your entire body. While gluten is found in the majority of grains, such as wheat, barley, spelt, kamut, and rye, not all grains contain gluten. Many gluten-free grains should be avoided while working to heal your gut. Brown rice, for example, contains phytic acid or phytates. Phytic acid is difficult for your body to break down and digest, which leads to inflammation within the digestive tract. Phytic acid also affects the absorption of key minerals, including magnesium, calcium, and zinc, and makes digestive enzymes less efficient and causes overall digestive distress. Soaking and sprouting your grains can help remove the phytic acid protective coating, making them more digestible in moderation. However, for most people, it is best to avoid grains in the early stages of gut healing altogether. According to the Centers for Disease Control, or the CDC, in the last 30 days, 48.5% of Americans have taken at least one prescription drug. 21.7% of Americans have taken three or more prescription drugs. Some of the many medications that have been proven to disrupt the bacterial balance in the gut and thus interfere with normal digestive function include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs, synthetic steroids such as prednisone, broad-spectrum antibiotics, birth control pills, and antidepressants. In most cases, diet and lifestyle changes can replace all of these medications. However, the overuse of these inflammation-producing drugs has become the norm, and they will cause unnecessary stress on your digestive tract. Your body needs a sufficient amount of digestive enzymes in order to break down food particles efficiently. Without them, the food you eat would not be broken down into the form that your body can actually absorb, which is the individual nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. Your body produces digestive enzymes from your pancreas, stomach, salivary glands, and small intestines. Decreased production of these digestive enzymes can be caused by many different things, such as acid-blocking medications, zinc deficiency, pesticides and chemicals on your food, excessive intake of unsaturated fats, heavy metal consumption, and many more. But above all, the lack of these enzymes is usually due to a poor diet. Additionally, as we age, we begin to naturally produce fewer digestive enzymes and digestion becomes more difficult and less efficient. In fact, by the age of 45 to 55 years old, enzymatic production decreases by approximately 50%. Long story short, it is important to stabilize, preserve, and supplement your digestive enzymes in order to absorb nutrients effectively and efficiently. This can be done by including more raw food in your diet, eliminating processed foods, and taking a trusted digestive enzyme supplement. Probiotics are live bacteria which live mostly in the lower portion of your GI tract or large intestine. They produce substances that help to balance your gut's microbiome by promoting healthy bacteria and hindering harmful bacterial growth. Probiotics can be lost by a poor diet, excessive use of medicine, and exposure to oxidative stress. Luckily, there are ways to up your intake of probiotics to regain a healthy balance of bacteria within your gut. Probiotics are found in a wide variety of foods, including yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, tempeh, miso, kimchi, and kombucha. You may also want to explore further supplementation by taking a probiotic supplement. There are several different healthy probiotic bacteria strains. The most common are Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus bulgaricus, Lactobacillus ruteri, Streptococcus thermophilus, Saccharomyces boulardii, Bifidobacter bifidum, 
and Bacillus subtilis. Functional medicine diagnostic tests can give you a better understanding of which strains of bacteria would be most beneficial to heal your gut health. Exposure to toxins is unavoidable. We're exposed to them on a daily basis between the pesticides on our food, combination, contamination of our water, pollutants in the air, and chemicals in our common household products. To reduce and prevent this toxic overload, there are many ways to minimize exposure, such as organic non-GMO foods, air purification systems, water filters, and toxic-free household items. To further detox from these toxins, you should implement some of these methods. Proper nutrition, ample hydration, fasting, sweating, exercising, Infections are caused by foreign invaders known as pathogens. Pathogens can be bacteria, viruses, parasites, or yeast. Acute infections are usually fought off by your immune system. However, chronic infections are not. Instead, your immune system provides continued effort to fight the chronic infection without actually removing the pathogen. This leads to health problems indefinitely and a severe hindrance of a healthy gut microbiome. Unfortunately, Many of the conventional methods of handling infections also compromise your gut health. Alternatively, it is best to work to understand any infections within your body, treat them appropriately, replenish beneficial bacteria that prevent infections, and work with a naturopathic doctor like me to rebuild your gut health. Stress can be caused by a number of sources. Some include poor diet, lack of sleep, overtraining, decision fatigue, feeling unfulfilled, major life changes, and anything that puts a high demand on your body, mind, or spirit. That being said, it is apparent that most of us experience stress every single day of our lives. However, when stress becomes chronic and we do not practice stress relieving techniques, our bodies will pay the consequences. The gut specifically is vulnerable to stress. Stress induces changes in your gut's permeability, barrier accuracy, sensitivity, blood flow, and secretions. Studies have shown that the gut's microbiome responds directly to stress signals. This means that the gut is one of the first lines of defense and attack. Some strategies to keep stress controlled within your body include eating an antioxidant-rich diet, deep breathing exercises, regular exercise, participating in social activities, finding an enjoyable hobby, spending time outdoors, and many, many more. What is your favorite way to manage your stress? Luckily, it's possible to reverse intestinal damage, heal from digestive distress, rebalance your microbiome, and repair your overall gut health. Following the Functional Medicine 4Rs protocol, is an incredible tool to truly uncover your health issues, nutritional needs, digestive dysfunctions, and bacterial imbalances. The steps go as follows. One, remove, which is eliminate problem foods, toxins, low-grade infections, and oxidative stress. Number two, repair. Begin reintroducing a clean diet with essential nutrients your body needs. Number three, restore. Repopulate your gut with healthy bacteria to restore the proper balance of gut flora. And number four, replace. Replace digestive enzymes, antioxidants, and immune-boosting vitamins to promote sustainable and healthy digestion. The 4R program provides an effective and complete way to address and treat gastrointestinal dysfunctions and achieve optimal health and digestion. Functional medicine practitioners, such as naturopathic doctors like me, are trained in this protocol and work to make your 4R healing individualized to your specific needs. Gut health is truly the pathway to optimize your overall health. Other ways to improve your gut health include additional supplementation, specifically vitamin D, zinc, omega-3s, and glutathione, mind-body mind practices, staying hydrated, limiting your caffeine and alcohol intake, increasing your fiber intake, and most importantly, get your microbiome analyzed through a comprehensive digestive stool analysis.
Thank you for taking the time to experience my video. Fix your gut, save your life. I'm passionate about sharing this topic with people who are eager to transform their lives and finally achieve their optimal health. If you have any further questions, please post them below and or contact me at pfranknd at forcesofnature.ca. I'm always here to support you. Thanks again. Please share the most valuable piece of information that you learned from my video in the comments. Also, if you feel like you need support on this journey, do not hesitate to ask me for help. I know this video has provided lots of information and some tools to finally fix your gut, fix your health, fix your life with functional medicine. If you need more help, please call me at 416-481-0222, email me at pfranknd at forcesofnature.ca or visit my website at naturopathtoronto.ca. Thanks again. Have a great day.